Okay, so I've had another idea, which worked out quite nicely. I started drilling. You can see that I was off center a little bit. And let me point to that. So it was that one I was on right there. And you can see it's not dead center. So it might not seem much right now. And that's just the smallest little drill bit. And there, which I have fed down nice and deep into the throat. I mean, this drill is about a third of the length right now. That's just one thing. If I had this drill bit out here, there's so much more room for wobbling. So feed that drill bit as deep into your drill bit as you are into your gun as possible. But anyway, I stopped and let me find this. Where is it? So then I decided I could flatten. And the reason why it's wobbling is because of that slope. And I thought, you know what? Let me get this nice flat piece. And that way I can. So I started hammering down here on the outer edge, not over here over here where the higher points were and I hammered it down and it actually did make a difference it flattened it out so that was good so let's try this is what I'm doing but I could flatten it out a, a little bit more because I'm back into that hole but if I could flatten it down and get rid of those dimples I'd be doing myself a favor. All right, now I found a larger punch, flat one again. And that fits right in there. See that? So if I could get those dimples out of it and start again. It might help me, but it's hardened metal. So maybe if I could heat this up, I could hammer it down, flatten it down a lot better than with the seal being cold. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to heat it up a little bit. Just put a little dab of oil there while I'm at it. All right, here we go. That's the best position I can give. Sorry. But, see that be. Make sure it's in reverse. There we go. Isn't helping much. Is the light on. There we go. That helps me.
not really doing anything. So these drill bits, I'm not sure if it's the oil. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, we got to, we got to start. This is good. This is very good. Focus. All right. That's what I want. That is what I want. I just noticed when I put this Allen key in, it focused properly. Huh. All right, on to the next size. And now, Focus. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Oops. Yeah, you can see the little shavings in there. Little diamonds. All right, so all that prep work was good. That helped me. See that? That's what you want. Turn off that light. There you go. And that is probably the hardest part of this whole process is getting that started. So I'm feeling optimistic now that I have that in there. So I'm going to put the camera down and keep drilling. Now this is what I want to see. See that? We're getting there. Put it down. This is where mistakes happen when I'm recording. That dog has to die. Well, I'm sure it natural causes one of these days. Does anybody understand why neighbors let their dogs do that? Anyway, I'm getting distracted by it. You see that? All right, and then, don't you love it when something actually works? Look at this. Voila. Oh man, that feels good. And hopefully, if I can get in there to see. Well, yeah, the threads are good. So there you have it. And in the end, I didn't use these. I only used these. So I went from this to this to this to this. Actually, no, this to this and one of the other ones, but there was no need for that. So the eighth inch was the one that did it. And hopefully, I've learned my lesson on not to over torque a bolt. Because just that one bolt there, for those of you who haven't got a clue what's going on here, I had to take this whole head off and all the components around it. And I mean, we're talking about like four hours of work. To get to this point to get that screw out 
now I got to put it all back together again and get home. What did I do? Yeah, there was oil in the the coolant in the system when I had to drain everything out. Um, the two got mixed together, so now I got to go get a new batch of coolant and just a whole bunch of stuff. So when you go start tightening down screws too much, um, this is what happens. However, that was all worth that effort of doing the prep work. And pouring oil in there gradually. And last night I poured oil in there just drip by drip so that it would get down into those threads. But anyway, that's a success.